Dude, my hair is literally a four alarm fire right now. I look homeless, but like selectively homeless, you know? Looks like a loop. Before you know it, they're gonna start calling me Loops. It's gonna turn into Fruit Loops. And my nickname for the rest of my life is gonna be Fruit Loops because I didn't fix my hair before I filmed the video, Reese. <sighs> oh, Miles replied. It's not I'm looking as beautiful as ever. I had sat down to film a different video, but instead we have turned this week into Spam feature week. Yeah. And the reason we have turned it into feature week is as I was sitting at my desk procrastinating, actually filming the video. So I was on Twitter. I was on TikTok. I really wasn't. Not young enough anymore. I was on Twitter and Football Manager released, of course, another tweet about new features in the game. To which I replied, I literally can't make videos fast enough. What is this, some kind of test? Because I have now released two consecutive videos, this being three about new features in the freaking game. Because I keep announcing <laughs> new features and I have to cover them as quickly as possible because in case you haven't noticed, we play some football manager here. And then Miles apparently says that yes, it's a test. That's what he said, yes. So. Challenge accepted, period. You gotta show authority. Challenge accepted. So here's your next informative video about the features in Football Manager. Roll some cool title slide for features. It's feature time. 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 You know, I, I'm gonna have a kid one day. I'm gonna give that kid nightmares. And it's things like that. It's things like that. We've waved goodbye to the previous system, and in their place, we welcome gestures with open arms. <laughs> with open arms, because you, you can, okay. So as you would hope, I've read the gestures section, which is obviously part of this whole interaction theme that Football Manager is really bringing into this game. And what I was worried about, I saw this on Twitter actually, is that gestures will just turn into the new tone. Cause remember this used to be assertive, aggressive, whatever the tone of your voice. I'm worried that I'll just leave it on open arms. Like every time I'm talking to somebody, the only chance I think that gestures have, and they talk about uh, you can react to different journalists questions to be more animated and excited or put them at a distance or whatever, throw the water bottle in the locker room, which everybody loves. Obviously I nearly broke my camera throwing a water bottle at it. I don't know why I actually had water in it, that was just a stupid idea. I feel like gestures, because they're so entertaining, if you want to get invested in that, you can take advantage of it. But by and large, kind of like everybody answers every question in Calm in FM20, I think there's just gonna be like the one or two presets that you just essentially are clicking on all the time. We don't know how expansive the gestures are yet. That's just really something they're very excited about. Let's be honest, including nonverbal signals and interactions with players, it's still formulaic, but it's got a feel of authenticity that the tone thing was just doesn't have. Hopefully it's not the biggest change in the game. Something that I didn't get very excited about before in this interaction section is the quick chats. This is the first that we've noticed that it's kind of like texting. It, it's these informal side chats that aren't formal meetings and formal press conferences. What we didn't know and what is actually pointed out in this article is that the quick chats can make being a manager feel more authentic. So you're gonna get contact by journalists, particularly journalists that you have a good relationship with because of the gestures that you're laying down during press conferences or tunnel interviews or whatever, or assuming tunnel interviews are still in the game, they'll get in touch with you for an inside scoop. You'll be able to talk to the opposition manager, which I've been asking for forever. Maybe you'll have a quick chat right before the game with the opposition manager because you have to go to the press conference and talk about whether you hate the guy or not. Unless it's Jose Mourinho, I don't really have a strong opinion. And there's a couple of UI changes that we didn't know about it before. So for quick chats, you don't have to leave the screen you're on. It like pops up over the screen. So that should help the game run a lot faster. You don't have to open a separate window just to talk to somebody about something real quick. That's like super nice ease of use. And the last bit this section tells us about is you can actually talk to your players on loan and literally say, hey, how's it going? And they'll tell you how they're liking the loan, I'm assuming in some sort of formulaic way, right? We're not quite to AI response yet, but you can ask these people out on loan instead of having to decipher their morale and you go to the dynamic screen and look, well, is he happy with the loan? Whatever, you can just ask the player. You got some young star on loan? Hey, how you liking? How's it going? That's a nice quick chat tool. I feel personally attacked, by the way. You won't be wanting to send your assistant to do your weekly press conferences in FM21. 
try me. <laughs> the first part, we really haven't talked about this up until now, that right away is obvious, is the press conference is going to feel a lot more realistic. The same with the quick chats, the same with at least the gestures feeling a little more realistic. You are going to get a press briefing, like stack of papers, from your press, I mean, I, I mean, it's probably, it's on a tablet, I guess. You get it from your press officer telling you the journalists in attendance, the projected questions, and telling you which questions to like expand on and actually telling you which questions to try and avoid. So a very realistic PR experience. And they've also helped you become more familiar with the journalists asking your questions. So it's always told you who the journalist was and who they work for, but now you'll see the room. They'll all be aligned in like a group of squares. And when somebody has a question, it pops up as a chat from that one particular journalist, which helps you build individual relationships with these journalists. And honestly, this is the sort of stuff that I geek out about because it's just going to give it a more authentic feel. You're going to remember the journalists that you like and don't like and are asking the weird questions and the fun questions. You're also going to be joined. You're going to be joined by a player and you're going to be able to see this. It says just for where, where does it say this? Usually around big matches, you'll be joined by a captain or team leader, like come to the press conference with you. You'll be able to see their body language. So you can like actively aggravate or you'll see how the press conference is going because that you'll have a, one of your players there with you, which is that's just cool. And the last kind of interesting tidbit is not only is the press officer going to give you a summary at the end of the press conference, when you're answering the questions, you don't actually have to look up the information. It'll look it up for you. So if they go, oh, you're playing a team that is in absolutely terrible form. How do you feel? It will pull up the league table and the form table. It will show you the things you're being asked about so that you can pretend that you're educated like it's real life because you would have to be educated about those things if this was actually your job. And as you probably noticed through the press conference section where there's just a lot of people in attendance and you can see everybody's body language and that sort of thing, the face-to-face -face conversations like your classic, I want higher wages sorts of conversations you have with a player, those are going to be more intricate. They're going to be more nuanced. How are they gonna do this? Multiple people are gonna be in attendance. So the player will be there. Their agent will be there. Your director of football will be there. Maybe the chairman will be there. And of course you will be there and you'll be able to see the body language of everyone at the table and it could be going in opposite directions depending on what you're saying so if you struggle with this sort of stuff before it's actually about to get a lot harder because you're going to be juggling a more authentic environment with a lot of people with a lot of ulterior motives at the table and just with the press conferences you'll get a summary at the end of all of these face-to-face -face meetings with the agents and the general managers or whatever on how well it went so this is actually an active way for you to be able to improve the next section that they've released further updates about is the match day experience which is essentially outside of interaction the other area that they're really looking to improve the game a lot of your basic lighting and graphical improvements but there doesn't seem to be anything blown out of the water here what we're going to focus on are the things that we didn't know about yet from the other videos that are new features. The things that we didn't know about actually fall kind of in the interaction realm of the match day experience. Now, when you get to the ground, you're going to have to confirm your team sheet. That, that has nothing to do with anything other than the fact that I think it's cool and very realistic to being a manager in real life. You get to the ground, you check your team. Yes, uh, this is very good. The rest of your staff will see the other team sheet and go, hey, boss, this is different than what we thought. This is different than what we told you. So you'll be able to adapt late on with maybe a little extra tactical change or two. So that's for the tweaker in you and me. And then we have the team talks. Now the team talks screen, as with a lot of the UI around the match, obviously the team sheet before has the new UI, which you can see here. Uh, and then the team, the, the actual match itself has a UI we've already talked about with what they call the dugout apparently, which is the bar across the bottom that you'll be able to interact with. A lot of cool stuff there. I'm expecting more details to come in future announcements. The team talk is arrayed like an actual locker room. That's the way they said it. You have the goalkeeper on one side, you have the rest of your starting 11 over here. And th at the beginning, it's basically going to work the same way. What's interesting is that they've actually adapted the team talk so that if you're an extra time, you have to give a team talk on the pitch and it's like a whole different screen and in different options. And, and this is a small thing until it's not. And we didn't know about it until right now, penalties. You can give a team talk before penalties and you can see the body language of the penalty takers while you're setting up your penalty lineup, which means you are getting that realistic experience of looking around and going, He's not nervous. Okay, get in there and give him some sort of talk to try and settle the nerves if you are sending a nervous guy out there. You also will have a broadcast interview. I'm assuming this replaces the tunnel interview, but if your game is on TV, you can be like selected to have to do some sort of TV interview. The authentic feel of being a manager is gonna be 
just much more present in the UI changes and the interaction additions to outside of matches and inside matches. And then you obviously knew if, if you've watched the first two videos about new features that expected goals is in the game, which you now know is that Football Manager created its own expected goals system working with Psy Sports that works with the Football Manager and Match Engine. So that's cool. And a five second round of applause for the initiative. They went out and created their own. I appreciate that. And there are two other feature blogs that I will be making the next video about because I have to go to class right now or else we won't be able to still do this because I'll get kicked out of school. Okay, enjoy that. I'm very excited for these new announcements. I'm hoping that the future announcements are gonna change a couple other parts of the game other than wonderful production UI stuff with the match engine itself and around it and the interaction changes that for people that love to get into the story are just gonna make being a manager much more realistic. And oh yeah, Miles, you're going down. <clears throat> I didn't even have to clear my throat, I just did it to sound tough.